to another video. Today we're playing a game called Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now this is a good game for RC enthusiasts because you can like, on here you can, let's say you've got a DAF for example, you could add like accessories like this and see what lights fit the best. So yeah, that's pretty good for RC enthusiasts. Now today, my dad made a replica of a gardener truck. It's an MIN, it's the old generation, because we can't find out how to do the newer generation on um, your truck. So today we are starting in Plymouth and we're going to probably Cardiff or somewhere like that. So yeah, hopefully enjoy it. So let's go and find a job now. Let's go cargo market. So let's go Plymouth. Plymouth to London, maybe I think that's a bit too long. So if we go like that, and we go here. We could find one too. Shall we go down to France? Um, let's go down to Rennes. It's, a, it's 167 miles away. Um, then plus the sea. So, get a set, set as GPS destination. Now, the only thing is that I was testing up this account earlier, so I'm on the side of the motorway. So I'm just going to go garage manager and I'm going to teleport there, wait for it to load. And yes, I am using a mod called ProMods, um, it's a good map expansion which um, details Britain more, gives you Iceland, cool little tight roads, but anyway, yeah, here's the truck, let's go and hook up to that trailer and then let's go and pick up a load. Maybe miss it then, guys. Just missed it. Just missed it. Right, okay, let's try that again. There you go. Perfect. So, yeah, hopefully, you enjoy this different type of thing. Let's just go and quickly accept that job because I forgot to. Um, it was we're going to Rens, right? So where's that Rens truck going? Um, okay, maybe we'll have to go to Morris instead then. Right, okay, let's go to Southampton. Right, okay, had to change the route to Southampton because I think the job I was going for got either cancelled or maybe it ran out of time to accept, I don't know. But anyway, let's go and head to the place to pick it up. Now I'd just like to say, I'm not, I'm not the best driver in the world, so you could give me tips on how to drive better if you want, me to, if you want to, but I do know quite, like, quite a few laws. I know I know roundabout rules from most of them. So yeah. First thing you see about this game when you play it is that it's got so much detail. Yes the um the depots don't have actual names but except for that it's really really good. I did also install a mod called Big Stobart Mod. So we will see quite a lot of Stobarts on the way. So we can do a bit of truck spotting. So let's go and take the Southampton route as the other route got cancelled sadly. But I just want to say I am terrible at reversing. So I might just skip the reversing if I can't do it but I'll try it. I'll try it just for you. Hopefully like a truck. It took my dad about two hours to do it. Oh, it's a bit tight. Might have to take a bit of it. We've not we've not done a trailer yet, but we are working on that. Oh, keep going the wrong way. No, I don't no, I don't think I'll do it, I'll have to skip it. 
because, as I said, I am terrible at reversing. But this is what the truck looks like. It looks pretty good. So, um, yeah, let's get on the move. So, did not mean to turn the headlights on them. So yeah, it's good for like when it's raining, um, when it's really bad weather and you just want to drive an RC truck. You can just, well, drive a truck in this game. Now, yes, I do have a steering wheel. Just, you know, better simulation. You feel more like an actual trucker. But, yeah. You, you can use keyboard or mouse for steering. And yeah, I've got all my, most of my settings are on my wheel. I do have a gear shifter, but I'm terrible at gear, well, using manual gearbox. So I actually use it to go up and down with speeds for my cruise control. And I do have a retarder. It's controlled with a button on a mouse. And by the way, this game has windows which roll down, which are amazing. Stobart. So yeah, every single time I see a Stobart, I'm gonna flash my lights and beep at it. I know they're not gonna respond, but I don't care. <laughs> I just, there's another, why are there so many? Why does this remind me of my late, my last video, where I saw two Stobarts, one gardener. I saw two Stobarts, I saw one Stobart, then I saw a one gardener, and then I saw another Stobart. It didn't make any sense. But then we saw more gardeners and stobards. So yeah, that's what that's what it should be like. So some people might say this game's a bit boring, just driving in a straight line. And I think I just got oh yeah, I just got fine for speeding. Oops. Yeah, there's a 30 mile an hour speed limit and my speedometer is in kilometers an hour. But yeah, should be back up to 60 in a minute. Or six, well, yeah, 60. Some trucks are limited to 56, but this truck, yeah, this truck is. So yeah, hopefully you're liking it so far. I will, I will do try and do a lot of these because I personally enjoy driving. And well, to be honest, my two dream jobs, truck driver and a highway limit traffic officer, um, tri I just like driving and I just like to help people who can't drive because their car broke down or has been in an accident. So, yeah, and I've just realised that I've been holding up traffic because <laughs> I've been in the second lane for no reason. Another sto three stone parts. But yes, gardeners aren't in traffic and yes, this um, is custom. I do have an older skin on it's called fellows film this is like it was like a um that was like a first test it it got seven downloads but it got like a thousand views but um yeah this one's a better one because on the other one you could like te definitely say that it was taken from an actual gardener truck but this one just looks like like we just did it ourselves when we did it was actually a photo but it was just a better quality photo in general um sorry about the vibration because it is a it is called a force feedback wheel so if like I f it feels like every single bump in the road we could look at the outside of my truck um i know it does look really really good i might actually take a screenshot there there you go so there's Southampton, so I'm guessing we need to get in this lane. And no, I can't because there's been a detour. So it looks like we've got to go on a bit of a detour now. Yeah, the police have blocked the road. Don't want to go up that way. Be I wonder what happened. Now I'm going to be a sensible driver, and I'm not going to take that slip road, because you're not allowed to go on it. Oh, it's been a car accident. I, I can see police, and I think I saw another car down there, which seemed to be heavily damaged. 
Let's just head back into this lane. Let's see how long the detour is. So we've got 155 miles if we use that slip road. But when it notices that I missed it, it will say 197 miles. So tiny bit of detour, about 40 miles for a detour. Hopefully we can get that down by doing shortcuts maybe. But let's actually see what a detour is. So we have to, okay, so we have to head up the A30, wait, is this A? Yeah, it's A38. So we have to take M5 up to this junction, take it, then take the M4 for literally a tiny bit, get off there, then take some, some single carriageway down to Southampton. So that's not that big of a problem for me, to be honest. I do really like the scenery in the, Brit the British area. So, yeah, it's pretty good so far. I'm not speeding, if you're wondering. Just that all the trucks at the game go at the exact same speed limit of about 50 miles an hour in a 60 zone. And I'm going 56 miles an hour. The, le the legal speed for a truck, the highest you can go. But if your truck does not have a limiter on it, you can go up to 60. Why is that truck break? Actually, it's a hill. I'm going to put my child on. Yeah, I'm just going to cruise. Actually, I'm going to put it on stage two and hopefully I don't flip my truck. Nope, didn't flip my truck. Right, okay, that's good. Right, now let's floor it a bit. So, hopefully, you're enjoying the drive. I think it's silent turn tonight. I will turn my headlights on when. Well, when I see a lamppost on. So there's not that many lampposts in on the A38, I'm very nice. I think I'm gonna back off here. So I think I'm gonna let this truck go ahead. Maybe let's just pull behind it. And yes, now I am overtaking the truck I said I won't overtake. You heard it here now, I'm overtaking the truck I said I won't. I feel like every single time I, I try and overtake this truck, we get to the hill. <laughs> I've only got I've got 40, 440 horsepower, so that's pretty that's that's pretty standard for like a truck company. They usually give you like 440 horsepower because they don't you don't really need like 640 like the maximum horsepower you can get on this truck. But yeah, this is the old. Like I said before, this is the older model, so there aren't that many cool features. But on the newer model, there's there's better interior, and there's a wit uh, and there is on the other one, on the newer one, a really creepy pillar with a smiley face on it. Every single time I just look to see if there's anyone coming, I'm just like, oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm just about gonna overtake this staff, I think. Unless we come to an uphill, then I'll just have to back off. Turn, break, turn. You're probably wondering, well you might be wondering for a while, what my favourite truck manufacturer is. I would either say Volvo or MAN. Volvos. I like Volvos because I do like MAN style more than I like Volvo style. But I love the power the Volvos give out. It's just... So nice. And Volvos, I don't know if you knew this or not, Volvos don't have V8s, I don't think. Because when did you ever hear someone say, oh, my Volvo's got a V8? Probably never. Why are there so many so much on the road? Anyway, so we're getting onto the M4. Yeah, we're on the M4. So we actually, I think we're closer to London than we are Southampton. I might be mistaken on that one. But probably, yeah, probably am too. I think I'm gonna turn my headlights on. It's getting a bit dark. What time is it actually? It is 8.42. I'm gonna get in this lane which says we're going to Bournemouth. Believe it or not, I've actually been to Bournemouth on a holiday for well, two or three days, I think it was. I don't think it was like a week. Like just a good getaway on the um, while we were on half term. Yes, I I own so many models. Uh, of Stobarts. I would really, really like if there was a model gardener truck. I'd actually really like that. But there isn't yet. So, 
Yeah, I've got a ton of Stobarts. I've got a few other companies like Maritime. Oh, I've also got the Coca-Cola Christmas truck, Scania T. But yeah, I'll, I will give you a room tour soon. I just like to say, don't get too excited. It's quite a small room. Now it's getting so dark. It got. It was like bright, like. Like two minutes ago was super bright. It's very nice, isn't it? I like. I really do like the sunset. And I might do some Trucks MP stuff. Trucks MP is just like this game, but multiplayer. It's not an official. It's not an official add-on for the game, but SCS Software, the makers of this game, and the Trucks MP team work very closely together. So yeah. It's pretty fun, it does get busy in, for some reason, Duisburg and Calais. I have no idea why, but it is, because I literally made this account this morning. So we're going to explore the roads together. I would like this game to have um, realistic damage, I think that would be really, really cool, but it doesn't. If you hit something, it will just, like... It would just say, oh, you've got 1% damage or 10% damage. But anyway, it's 50 miles, uh, we can go 50 miles an hour here. And I'm struggling up a hill going 30. Not that bad, to be honest, for a 440 horsepower truck. The biggest engine has like 3,000 newton meters. People say that torque is better than, is like more important than horsepower, which I agree on, but more people care about horsepower. Like, torque is more important, but horsepower is more known. Like, if you said, let's say I talked to like a truck enthusiast who like got in, just got into it, and I said, "What's torque?" They'd be like, well, "I know what horsepower is." So yeah, it's actually getting really dark. What time is it? It's well, I know it's 15 degrees. That's something I don't like about this MAN. Is that the time is hidden when you turn the steering wheel? It's five minutes past eleven at night, and I need to let my truck in with it. I wouldn't really call that embarrassing as it is just a game. This is a really, really, really fun game. Like, if you played it properly, but I've literally, usually this game you start for two grand and work your way up to have a truck and empire. I didn't decide to do that. I just bought a mod which got me a lot. I bought a mod, I got a mod, which um, gave me a ton of money, and I've realised I need to rest in it. So yeah, we're coming up to our destination. It's very dark, as you can clearly see. I can start to see lights, so I know that I'm very, very, very close to Southampton. Yep, I can see buildings. Southampton, yep, we're here. I'll go and park. And I'll end the video. It's very dark. Very, very dark. Um, there's the yard. Transinet. That does not sound anything like a um, a company in real life, I don't think, at least. Yeah. We've got a Stobart trailer there. I know it's a Stobart trailer, it's got Stobart right on the back of it. As I said at the beginning, I am terrible at reversing. And I'm terrible at shifting. Anything else? I'm terrible at quite a lot of driving skills. Well, I'm pretty good at reversing like if it was just a cab. As you saw when I buckled up my, buckled up the trailer, attached the trailer. I need to go a tiny bit more forward. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, as I said, the game is really good for RC enthusiasts who want to see which accessories would look good. So, see you in the next one. Bye!